Question number 10. Question number 10. We have here a triangle and some parallel lines as well. This line here is parallel to that line. Okay, C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F is a straight line. A, B is parallel to C, F. So this is parallel to this bottom part here. And it says D, E is equal to A, E. So D, E is equal to A, E. Or is this a this triangle. Okay, because work out the size of angle marked X, which is this one here. You must give reasons for your answer. Right, here we go. In order to work out this angle here, which angle do we need to work out before that? That one. In order to work out that angle, this angle is also going to be the same as? So the Y that's here is the same as the Y there because this is an isosceles triangle and the angle opposite this line is the same as the angle opposite this line. So these two are both Y. Is that right so far? Mm -hmm. Oops, that. Okay, now, what else do we know? Okay. Uh, right, we also know that the angle sum of a triangle is equal to 180. Okay, right, let's have a look what else we have here. Can somebody tell me what this rule here is? Z angle. Okay, now, I'm glad it said Z angle. Now, what happened in the examination? You wrote down Z angles and are equal or something, you put answer in there. Would you get your mark for that? Yeah. You get zero because Z angles is like it's not proper mathematics. Yeah. We have to use the word alternate, alternate angles. Alternate. Okay. Alternate. So we have to say first of all this angle here. So you have Y, Y. Should we call this one Z? Yeah. So we've just labeled our diagram. Now we can say here angle Z. Now we can label it angle Z, or we can actually use it, uh, we can label it according to the letters, so that would be called angle D, E, A. So let's just use the labeling from the D, E, A. Okay. D, E, A. Angle D, E, A mathematically means D, E, A, and it's one in between. That's what it is, okay? So this angle here could be also called E, A, D. Or oh, it could be called it could be called E I haven't written on where E should be E hang on D A E is right isn't it? D A E Okay D A E and this one here is gonna be E D A That's labeling according to the labeling of the diagram at the moment. So let's start making some statements now. Let's talk about this angle here. So we can say, what can we say about that? We can say angle. Oh, this is all in there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So angle DEA, which is that one here. Angle DEA is equal to angle, what's that angle they're called? That's called EAB. Which is equal to 38 degrees. Okay, that's the first statement. Now, what can we say about this triangle here? So now we can say angle sum of triangle ADE is equal to. 180. Okay? And we can also say this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Triangle ADE is isosceles. Therefore, this angle is equal to? Yeah? So earlier. Mm -hmm. Therefore, angle DAE is equal to angle. EDA. Okay. Are you happy with that? So let's now make a statement now using that. So these two are going to be both the same at that one. What do all these three angles add up to? 180. 
PT. Okay. So temporarily I'm going to call that Y. So that'll be easy for me when I'm doing my calculations. So we can say y, add y, add 38. is equal to 180. 180. So y add y will give us 2y. And opposite of add 38 is? Minus. So 180 minus 38 will give you 180 minus 30 minus 8. 142. 142 is the value of both of these angles. So one of them will be 71. So we now know that y is equal to, so these angles here are now equal to 71. Okay. Okay, now that we know this one, we can now finally work out x. So what would be the next uh, thing that we say to describe? We said angles at a point. So angles. Now what do students normally say? Angles on a... Line. Straight line add up to 180. That's wrong. Okay, why is it wrong? Because that line could be this one and this one and that one. That's still on a straight line. This and this and this and this not equal to 180. You missed out on one small point, and the word is point. Angles at a point on a straight line add up to 180. Yeah? On a straight line. So we write that down. So angles at a point. You see this point here? Angles at a point on a straight line equals 180. So now we can make a statement that x add EDA angle EDA is equal to 180. Now I've written that statement down. Under the EDA, what angle can we write in there? 71. 71. So we say x add 71 is equal to 180. Now I've got to work out the value of x. So the opposite of add 71 minus. is minus 71. So x will give us a value of 180 minus 71, which will give us 109. 109. One of them. Does that all in there? Okay, lovely. I'm sorry folks, unfortunately that, that is the amount of writing and explanation you need to get the answer. So the question is, work out the size angle mark. That's, you must give reasons for your reasons, yeah? plural. So first reason, second reason, third calculation, and fourth reason, fifth reason, and calculation. So we are explaining each step of the way. So from here we went to here. From here we worked out these two, from these two we worked out that one. So we had to work our way around the question. So it wasn't a straightforward question, we got to do lots of working out. Okay, next question. Question 11. Break sells car insurance and home insurance. The table shows the cost of these insurances. Cost of car insurance is 200, home insurance 350. Each month Greg earns £530 basic pay. This is basic. 5% of the cost of all the car insurance he sells, he gets that as a commission and 10% of all the home insurance he sells. In May, Greg sold 6 car insurances and 4 home insurance. Work out the total amount of money Greg earned in May. Right, let's have a look at this question. So, we know that he starts off with how much? £530. Now we've got to work out 5% of the car insurances he sells to work out the commission. Now, how many car insurances did he sell? Six. Six. How much does the car insurance cost? Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds, yeah? So what's two hundred pound times by six? So that'll give you twelve. Twelve hundred pounds worth of car insurance he sold, yeah? He sold four home insurances for so he sold four of these. So 350 times by 2 is 700, then times that by another 2 is how you break it down. That'll give us the, what Saf has just told us, which is 1400 pounds. Now, so that's how much actually is sold. So we have to work out 5% of this one and work out 10% of that one. Let's do that now. Now, to work out 5%, so we need 5%. What's one of the easiest way to work out 5%? First of all, we work out 10% and then half. Lovely, well done. 
So we're gonna work out 10% first. How do we work out 10% by dividing by 10? So 10% of 1200 will give us an answer of 120. 120. And then to work at 5%, which will be half of that, 60. which will be 60. That's 5%. Okay, now we've got to work out 10% of the cost of the home insurance. So 10%, to work out 10%, we divide it by 10 because it's a tenth. So we knock over 0, so that gives us 140. 140. 1400. 10% of 1,400 gives us 140. Okay, so we've got to work out his pay. Can we just add them up now? Add them up now, that's right. So he starts with the basic salary of 530. He made an extra 60 quid for selling car insurance and an extra 140 pound for selling house insurance. Okay, somebody's been adding numbers wrong, give me the wrong numbers on the board. Okay, 10, 13. Five, six, seven, seven hundred and thirty pounds. Okay, are we happy with how much the breakers paid the maze? Should we move on to the next question? Yeah. Right, that question is worth how many marks? Five, five. Five, yeah. five marks for this? Five big marks. Five yeah. marks. That's like that's like Eid coming early. Yeah? It's like a gift. That is so come on, what is it? So what? Easy. Okay, question number 12. Five schools sent some students to a conference. One of the schools sent boys and girls. This school sent 16 boys. The ratio of the number of boys it sent to the number of girls it sent was 1 to 2. So that's the ratio. So the ratio was 1 to 2. Okay, so how many boys did they send them? How many boys did they send? 16. 16. So the boy ratio, so how do you get from 1 to 16? 16. So that's how they got that there. So if you time the left by 16, we have to time the right. right. So how many girls did they send them? 32. So how many did they send all together? Oh, this is really 48. hard. 48. So 48 students in total, yeah? Yeah. The ratio, okay, we've done the ratio, so there was. 1 to 16, that doubles 32. The other four schools sent only girls. Each of the five schools sent the same number of students. So how many students did each school send? 48. 48. And how many schools were there in total? Five. 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 Work out the total number of students sent to the conference by these five schools. There's going to be 48 times by? Five. Okay, now firstly, please make sure you don't feed me wrong answers. Two, four, four. Okay, let's do it nice and slowly. So 8 times by 5 will give us 40. 4 times by 5 is 20. 28 4 is 24. So how many kids they send all together? All five schools? 240. And that question is worth how many marks? Four. Four marks, sir. 